you for tuning in into this Rayfire tutorial. Rayfire is a shattering plugin which helps you create some super nice dynamic shattering and explosions of elements. So in this Rayfire tutorial I will talk about the image tracing which helps you to create um, custom shatters, shatter shapes for your simulations. So first of all you start your um, 3ds Max and then you go into your geometry layout and then in the bottom you find Rayfire and there you've got the shooting, the trace and the Rayfire tool. For now we will only open up the trace option. I will expand the menu here and then you have to uh, drag op uh, out a plane. Just click and drag and then a the plane is created. And then if you want to create a custom shutter uh, shutter layout, you just go to bitmap, choose your image. I've got one from uh, Rayfire. It's just some cracked floor ground. Double click and then it takes a while and then it will be added to your ground plane. There we go. Now you can see by pressing a 4 to show the wireframe, you can see the um, the shapes from the image. The image looks something like this. So this is the image and this is the traced image, so it looks exactly the same. You've got here some parameters to change the display or how the generation of the uh, image is being traced. This is just a value, so always use black and white images for the best output and you can change the value which will, which will actually just increase the contrast of the image and you get more defined shapes. The relaxed edges will smoothen out your edges, which is pretty straight, straightforward. And now we come to the exciting part. You can, if you like, you can shatter the inner parts by just hitting the fracture, then it will be shattered. And you can extrude them, which is also very nice. It's also You can also use that for a super modeling tool. Instead of using displacement maps, you can use it with Rayfire to model some nice looking walls or ground floors. So you would go to Shell and click Interior and Exterior and now you can define a, a, a thickness. So if you want it to be 3 centimeters thick, then it would look something like this. You think, well, that's nothing, nothing special, but now you can also make a, a variation of that. So you can offset, let's say, the exterior or the big tile. So I want them to be offset. So now you can extrude them, as you can see here. And if you want some more variation to that, you can add some variation here. Let's say 0.5. Okay, that's probably too much. And now you can see you've got some nice looking ground planes or floors or whatever. And this you could, uh, can be used for modeling. You can UV texture it if you like to, but it, this one can also be used for shattering. So if you go back into the settings of my traced uh, ground plane, you have now the option to, uh, first of all, to shatter the interior pieces. You would do that by hitting fracture. It takes now a while. I think, yeah. Spinning wheel. So now the inner pieces are also fractured. As you can see, they've got nice pieces here. And now you can work with that in Rayfire if you like to. So you can use that as a ground plan, just you can use that for whatever, for your rendering. But then I wouldn't recommend shattering the interior pieces. But now you could um, use it in Rayfire. So let's start an open Rayfire. There you go. So Rayfire is open. If you now would like to shatter this floor plane, all you have to do is I uh, go into option, I uh, go to tools and detach by element selected. Now it will create shatter pieces from the floor. So it takes a time to fracture but now it's finally done and you can see in your um, lane, uh, pane here you can see you've got 2400 fractured objects. So it's a bit um, performance heavy but I also set the fracture pieces to very small so you get nice detail when fracturing it. So what you could do now 
is add your pieces to Rayfire and use them in your simulation. Actually, I will do a, a, another tutorial for that, but I just quickly go through it. I will add my objects to here so they are all in uh, the dynamic objects, and then I just create for this quick tutorial sake a helper also from Rayfire called RF Bomb. Um, and this one I will place a bit below and add this to my simulation properties. So now I'll also add deactivate static dynamic objects and activate them by force. And I want to use the home grid as a ground plane. So now I will let it simulate and I'll be back just in a minute. Okay, now the simulation is done. And you can see that my bomb, I just made it a bit bigger. But because I'm using a demo version of the Rayfire tool, I think it won't affect all my fragment pieces because it's a um, limited demo version. And <clears throat> what you can see now is the, f the ground is being shattered and exploded. It's because of the bomb. So you can see the pieces are nicely broken up. They are moving perfectly and they also fly nice in the virtual world. As I just said, <clears throat> actually the radius of the bomb was way bigger, but I think it's limited in this demo version <clears throat> that only a certain part of elements can be simulated. But this is how it works and it's pretty easy. You can also create uh, or your custom shatter traces. You can go in Photoshop or whatever and paint some fracture paths and trace them and use them as fracture objects. So uh, it's very interactive and very convenient to use. So now I'm done with this tutorial. I just wanted to show you how this image tracing works and how you can use that in Rayfire as your um, simulation. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next Rayfire tutorial, which will be a bit more in depth and it will consist of um, creating custom shatter pieces and using activate by geometry to get a more realistic feeling to it. And in the end I will export my shattered pieces to Maya and will render it there. I'm just more familiar with Maya and rendering so I will use V-Ray for Maya and yeah, I will show you the end result. So thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick one, bye!